for humanity, wars have been a form of confrontation that is caused by many problems or many facts, and this could be social, economic, uh, of land, or ideological, or many others. Um, in the course of these wars, uh, there are many events and that in consequence have advantages and disadvantages. And that is the, what I'm going to talk about. First, I'm going to talk about the advantages. And one of these is accelerated uh, de technological development. And an example of that is the communication uh, advances in the world. Another advantage is the development of national and collective virtues of the people that is very important to make a good structure of the society. And the last one is the emergence of organizations that have the objective of maintaining the peace uh, between countries. And an example is the UN. Now I am going to talk about the disadvantages. The first disadvantage is um, lose uh, many innocent lives or the injury of many people. In consequence of these disadvantages, I have the second one, and it is that um, the disintegration of families because uh, of the because one family member could die and the family uh, are going to disintegrate. And the last disadvantage is the destruction of cities or towns and the buildings um, that affect to all people and economic of, of the cities because it produces deaths also. And now I'm going to talk about some important wars. First, uh, I have the World War One. Uh, that produced many deaths and uh, there were implicated many of the most powerful countries. The second one is the Second World, World War and uh, there was the first war with uh, atomic bombs. Both are uh, the wars mo more important for humanity. Finally, as a recommendation, I think that uh, people will need to have good relations with people of other countries because like that we are going to form a society, a world uh, better and with peace and um, we and that is the form of how humans uh, must uh, live.